An amazing new discovery has just been made in Egypt. It's one of the oldest intact Egyptian mummies on record. And that mummy is part of an even larger discovery. It's a part of the discovery of several beautifully decorated tombs from Egypt's old kingdom, which have also yielded lost masterpieces of ancient Egyptian art. Before we continue, remember to subscribe for more videos on awesome ancient history. The discovery of these tombs was announced just last week by Dr. Zahi Hawass, Egypt's controversial former Minister of Antiquities, who has continued to dominate Egyptology since resigning over a decade ago. He leads the Egyptian team excavating the tombs, which are located in a subsection of the enormous necropolis of Saqqara, just south of Cairo. Saqqara was the main cemetery serving the ancient capital of Memphis, and it's where numerous Old Kingdom pharaohs and their government officials were buried. This includes the 5th and 6th dynasty officials whose tombs have just been discovered. The subsection of North Saqqara they were found in is called Gisser el Mudir, which refers to a very mysterious and very ancient structure there, otherwise known in English as the Great Enclosure. But I'll get to that later. Saqqara is always in the news because new tombs are constantly being found there, but these tombs are really something special. Not much is known about the mummy at the heart of this discovery, except that he was named Heka Shepes. His tomb starts with a 10 or 15 meter deep shaft, and at the bottom of that shaft lay a door, which was still sealed when found. That door led to a chamber holding a huge limestone sarcophagus, still sealed with mortar, that was surrounded by alabaster and pottery vessels. These were used to date the tomb to around 2300 BC. The lid of the sarcophagus weighs 3 to 4 tons, but after being raised 25 centimeters and being laid on some wood, its occupant was revealed for the first time in over 4,000 years. Hekishepes is covered in gold leaf and appears to be wearing clothes, a tunic, a belt, and a large necklace, but he wasn't wrapped in any bandages. Hekishepes isn't the oldest Egyptian mummy in the world, but he is one of only a few mummies that have survived from the Old Kingdom. That includes the pharaoh's mummies I made videos about a couple weeks ago. And unlike them, he's still completely intact. So Hekeshepes is one of the oldest complete mummies found in Egypt to date, and he has the distinction of being the oldest mummy in Egypt still covered in gold. Not much is actually known about him yet, but to be able to afford such a burial, he must have been pretty rich. But we do know a bit more about his neighbors, like a man named Knum Jedef. Knum Jedef was a priest working in the nearby pyramid complex of Unus, the final pharaoh of the 5th dynasty. He also held the title of Inspector of the Officials under Unus. Here, his beautifully colored cartouche is visible, next to some amazingly vivid depictions of the food and drink Knum Jedef expected to enjoy in the afterlife. Unfortunately, there's been no word on whether or not his remains have been recovered. Hawass has said that it's the most important of the tombs discovered so far, and this is perhaps referring to its size. The tomb of another official named Mary, which I know means beloved, was also discovered. He worked in the royal palace and held many titles, like Keeper of the Secrets and Assistant of the Great Leader of the Palace, which I guess is a bit more boring than Keeper of the Secrets. He may have also been a priest. His tomb was filled with scenes of daily life, and Hawass has said that it's the second largest of the tombs discovered. Nine truly spectacular sculptures were discovered in another tomb, which may have belonged to another priest named Messi. Yeah, like that Messi. Messi was priest of the mortuary cult of the 6th dynasty pharaoh Pepi I, and worked in his sorta nearby pyramid complex. The statues have all been left uninscribed, and they're attributed to Messi because they were found near a false door with his name on it. These statues depict him, his wife, and some servants, including a woman rolling dough. It's really awesome to see that even in 2023, truly amazing works of ancient art like these can still be dredged up from the desert sands. One more tomb was discovered, and it consists of another 10 meter deep shaft leading to the stone sarcophagus of a man named Fetek, buried with three statues of himself and an offering table. Luckily, his names are on all his statues, and his mummy was discovered within his sarcophagus, but unfortunately, he's in poor condition. Like all the other mummies found here, except Hekashepis. The excavations also yielded many amulets, stone vessels, tools, statues of deities, and of course, lots and lots of pottery. Hawass has also claimed that there's yet another sealed shaft tomb with another sealed sarcophagus in it, the contents of which will be announced soon. He's also promised to put the magnificent artifacts discovered here on display in a special room in the Grand Egyptian Museum, with New Kingdom coffins found around the pyramid of Teddy I last year, as well as other unannounced finds. 
As mentioned before, these tombs were found around the mysterious ancient structure known as Gisser el Mudir, which means enclosure of the boss. It's similar to the enclosure around the nearby steppe pyramid, but no pyramid was ever built within it. Based on the pottery used to fill in its walls, we know that it was actually built even before the steppe pyramid, at the end of the second dynasty, around 2700 BC. Despite it being just barely visible as a slightly elevated part of the desert floor, it's been investigated on and off since 1837, but it was first systematically excavated in the mid-90s by the Scottish, specifically the National Museum of Scotland. Hawass has repeatedly stated that his main objective in conducting these excavations around here, which began in 2007, was to discover the lost tomb of the Third Dynasty Pharaoh Huni. That sort of makes sense, because the Third Dynasty Pharaohs Djoser and Sekemket are buried nearby just a few hundred meters away. He's also already discovered multiple 5th Dynasty, 6th Dynasty, and much later 26th Dynasty tombs in the Gisser el Mudir area. Back in February of 2009, it seems that people, rich and poor, were buried around the Gisser el Mudir for millennia. It was even used as a cemetery up until the Greco-Roman period. And that's the end of the video. If you want more videos on Egyptology news, hit me up in the comments.